We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. Hey, everyone. Today we will be talking about 14 by Peter Kleins. This book is amazing. Um, it was nominated for 2012 uh, Goodreads Choice Award for Horror, and it was also nominated for uh, like a Best Audi Award on Audible when it was published. I would highly recommend that you get the audiobook of this because it's narrated by Ray Porter. He's amazing. Let's check out some of his other work. Nate Tucker found out about the apartment as people often learn about the things which change their lives forever by sheer luck. It was a Thursday night party he didn't want to be at. Party was too big a word for it, but calling it a few... Let's learn a bit about the author, shall we? Peter Kleins, you might know that name. It might be a little bit familiar to you, but you may not have heard of this book. This was published by Permuted Press in 2012. Um, it's not listed on like his uh, Facebook banner and so on because it's done by a different publisher. Peter Kleins, he also wrote some books like... The Fold, as well as Paradox Bound, which are also also awesome. He also wrote the X Hero series. Um, he also wrote the X Hero series, and he recently re-released uh, his take on Robinson Crusoe with H.P. Lovecraft and Daniel Defoe. I have not read this yet, but I will. It looks awesome. Robinson Crusoe as a werewolf. Pretty sweet. So, back to 14. Um, let me read you the blurb so that it, so that you get a good summary than my fucking rambling blah blah blah. There are some odd things about Nate's new apartment. Of course he has other things on his mind. He hates his job, he has no money in the bank, no girlfriend, no plans for the future. So while his new home isn't perfect, it's livable. The rent is low, the property managers are friendly, and the odd little mysteries don't nag him too much. At last, not until he meets Mandy, his neighbor across the hall, and notices something unusual about her apartment, and Zila's apartment, and Tim, and Veeks. Because every room in this old Los Angeles brownstone has a mystery or two, Mysteries that stretch back over a hundred years. Some of them are in plain sight, some are behind locked doors. And altogether, these mysteries could mean the end of Nate and his friends. Or the end of everything. <laughs> so on the front cover, it says a riveting apocalyptic mystery in the style of Lost. It's not a whodunit, it's more of like, what the fuck is going on? Like, they're. The blueprints of this apartment, from what's published, don't match what we're actually seeing inside of these rooms. And there's a locked door, um, apartment number 14, that's apparently, according to everybody, has always been locked. It's been painted over multiple times. The seal of the door uh, has been painted, and these padlocks are on it, so nobody can get in. What lies behind this door? I don't know. So... Let me set that right there. So Nate kind of pokes around and strange shit starts to happen. In the beginning of a book, he finds a, a mutant uh, cockroach that's glowing bright green and has an extra leg. And then he also finds out that any light he puts into his light fixture, any light bulb he puts in there, illuminates black light. That's, that's kind of odd. So then, he meets up with one of his uh, other apartment tenants uh, named Veek. And so him and Veek, Veek kind of is a, a hacker type character, but she's been living there for a while. And she kind of takes Nate under her wing and says, Oh, you think that shit's strange? Come check out what I have saw over here. And then that opens up this whole thing where they're like, okay this is weird but let's keep investigating and keep investigating and keep digging of course so without spoiling too much it's a really great spooky eerie novel that you definitely won't 
see coming. Um, there are there are points in this book you, you can't anticipate what's going to happen. And if you listen to the audiobook, the narration is phenomenal. It's truly a, an experience. If, if you're not a fan of audiobooks, this would be the one that I would probably tell you to listen to to get you into being a, a audiobook fanatic because Ray Porter and his narration on this is phenomenal. Some of my favorite things about this book are the characters, the way that the characters act with one another. They come from different backgrounds. Um, there's Nate, who's just the typical you know, dude. Then there's Veek, who is kind of the uh, Indian hacker Roger, who's the the rough and tough, gruff kind of guy. And then there's Tim, who's also kind of the, the shut-in uh, older guy. So the cast of that character is the way that their dialogue works between them is definitely, uh, it definitely brings some humor to the game. It makes you laugh. It's, it's funny. And one of the, uh, the quotes in the book between Roger and Veek, it's hilarious. And so Roger says, right, getting stuff done to your brain makes your nose bleed. I read that in a book once. You read a book? Said Veek. Wait for it, said Roger. And fuck you. Ba-dum-tish. So there's a, a quippy dialogue between Roger and Veek and all the characters where they take they take ample opportunities to jab at each other and just kind of poke fun at each other while they're going through this, you know, discovering all of these things. And they have a good camaraderie between them all. Yeah, you know, nobody's being a bitch to each other. They're all kind of helping where they can and trying to uncover the mystery of this. Another thing I love about this book is just the, the mystery, the thriller. It pulls you in and it, it captivates you into this this building and there are points here that just you know you, you get a deeper twist uh, and every time you think something they've uncovered something you know something new comes along and it just gets layers upon layers and then towards the last third of the book it really kind of pops and just fucking goes haywire and it was phenomenal it's awesome it's amazing I would suggest that if you're a fan of things like books like Dark Matter, um, things like, like Lost and X-Files. Also, if you have watched my other review for Meddling Kids or have read um, a little book called Meddling Kids, I would suggest you also read 14 by Peter Kleins. They're a great combo. Check out 14 by Peter Kleins. It is amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like and subscribe and all that good shit. And some stupid catchphrase. Baby, get the love. Oh, baby, get the love.